It becomes clear to you the night your father asks you to wake him up to see his favorite film on TV. And despite cups of coffee, bright lights, and company, he is asleep. With his dark rimmed glasses tilted on his face before the opening credits are even up. And there, hang the drag of his snow and watching the uncomfortably crooked angle of his neck, you see him at 19 taking care of his four brothers and one sister and studying for a scholarship while working nights pushing dead bodies at the local morgue. And he's tired, but he can't stop because he'll be the first in their family to go to university and he can't let them down. At 21, he's in class at Stirling University, wondering if he can afford the battery for his warehouse man's torch so he can study on the job tonight. Nobody told him that Scotland would be this cold, and it's so lonely sometimes, but he has to pass these exams. At 22, you're born. Your mother works night shift at the hospital. He tries to read between your 2 a.m. squeals. He picks you up in the hand, not holding a book. And he smiles and rocks you to sleep. 25 now, working late five nights a week, trying to snatch a few promotions. And somehow he thought it might be a bit easier with his degree. And he really needs to move his wife and kids into a place of their own. And for the next 20 years, he battles on his job every day, just so you could be comfortable and have the space for you to be what you want. An artsy fartsy artist. And then you know, that he's never had much time for this, for rest, for sleep. You prop his head with a pillow. Ginger pull off his glasses, stare at him, snoring loudly, beautifully. <laughs>